Hey everyone, it's me, Annalise. I'm coming to you today because I wanna to talk to you briefly about something that I feel is critically important to our being as we walk our path in this lifetime. And that is shame. And it is something that I have had to heal. It is something that I've had to go through the pains of feeling. It is something that I had to break through on the other side of. And it is something that even to this day, I still have to tell my mind, we're not ashamed. We are not ashamed. We do not feel shame. Um, and it's something that I see a lot of people that I love and care about going through too, and that shame, whether it be you're shaming yourself or being shamed by other people because of experiences that you've had in your past or experiences that you're currently in the process of going through and working out that people are saying, this is bad, this is wrong, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that, who are you? All of those things, right? And the only advice that I can give, and it is super important, like I said, because even in my own life and in my own situation, I am being shamed in a particular way, and I have shamed myself in this situation that God and the angels have had to come and heal and help me break through. And the only thing that I can say against battling shame is to look at your situation embrace it know that it is a part of you and it has come to teach you very crucial and essential lessons about being here on planet earth and how we're supposed to take that shame take that experience that is causing shame and utilize it to the fullest ability in our life to be able to help heal other people as i've said i don't coach from a place of never being there i don't sit on a pedestal where i am higher than thou looking down on you and saying that i have all the answers let me help fix you the reason that i'm good at coaching the reason that i'm good at helping to heal the broken hearts of people helping to heal those in in relationships and love and helping those with energy is because i have been there i have been there and what i know is it is through the grace of god only that I am standing here and have allowed my experiences, my pains, my hurts, my mistakes, my faults to lift me up and help me to be better than I've ever been because I was able to rise. It's not about how you fall, it is about how you rise. So the one thing that I've learned is to own your story. You can never heal from shame if you are hiding if you are hiding secrets, if you are hiding lies, if you are hiding under the covers of the things that you've experienced, you are going to live in shame. And then other people can take your story and they can twist it, right? They can make you be the villain in a story where you're meant to be the hero. We all have mistakes. We're all currently on this day making mistakes because we're all doing the best that we can with the circumstances that we create in life, right? And the situations and circumstances that we create in life, some of them are predestined to help us grow. Some of them are to balance karmas from past lives. Some of these things are just going to happen no matter no matter what, no matter what. And it is our purpose to break through these lessons and experiences and help others in situations like ours. As I was saying, I'm good at what I do because I've been there. I'm relatable. I am not perfect, but I have fallen. I have stood back up on my feet by the grace of God, my angels, my spirit team who said, get up get up. This is not going to break you. This is not going to devastate you. And I know you cannot see why the situation was created. I know you can't see the other side. All you can see is pain. But I promise you, once you get up on your feet and you land on the other side of the lessons and what God and Spirit are trying to teach you, you're going to be better. You're going to be stronger. And no one can use your story against you. Do not hide in shame. Do not hide in shame. And the one thing that I can say about my journey that I had been battling and dealing with was that I had a baby with a man who was married. And regardless of how it started, how it ends, the process that we all have to go through, we're going through it. 
But what I know is that I've owned my story. I've owned my truth. I know it better than anyone. And the party involved knows it better than anyone. So I can't allow myself to be shamed. And the way that I was able to break through the guilt, the hurt, the pain, the suffering that I had to go through for a very long time after this situation was created and I'm still dealing with it now is that I'm constantly gentle with myself. I remember how much God loves me and how much God knew that baby that was formed in my belly and how great a purpose she has to be on planet Earth. So what I know is that we don't know God's ways. They are so mysterious, right? We don't know why we've come to learn the things that we've come to learn. We never know truth. But all I know is that there is God's truth. And there is Jesus who died on the cross. I am a firm believer in Jesus. Whether you are or not is completely fine by me. But I know from my personal experience, Jesus died on the cross for me and my sins. He, I am covered under the blood. I am a child of God in the universe. So therefore, I am unconditionally loved. And I have constant opportunities to change and to grow and to build and to love and to do all of these things. I am a great human being and so are you. So no matter what your story is, you may feel like you are the worst human being on the planet right now. You may feel like your life sucks right now. You may feel like you've made so many mistakes, mistakes that God couldn't possibly love you. You might be in the process of trying to do the best that you can with circumstances that you created like I am. But what you have to do is be gentle with yourself. You have to love yourself and you have to know that it is all for a purpose and you cannot let anyone try to bring you down or twist your story to make you seem like the bad guy because you're not. You're doing the best you can and sometimes you need someone to tell you that. Do not be ashamed. Do not be ashamed. We all make mistakes. We all fall down and we get up. And you don't let anyone make you hide your story. The greatest thing that I have ever learned to do is utilize my voice. Because I used to not be able to say no. I used to not be able to speak my voice. I used to feel like my voice wasn't important. And I used to get myself into a lot of situations and circumstances. And even recently that I shouldn't have been in because I simply didn't know how to say no. I didn't know how to have a voice. I didn't know how to stand up for myself. And this is what God is constantly working on me in this part of my journey is learning to speak my voice, learning that I can say no, learning that I don't have to hide in shame because there is nothing shameful about the things that we go through in this lifetime. We're all just trying to work it out. We're all trying to do the best that we can and stay close to God because he will love you no matter what. People will not love you no matter what. People are gonna judge you. They're gonna hate on you. They're gonna tell you your story like they actually know it better than you. They're gonna do so many things to try and tear you down, but it's really because they can't be with their own mistakes, their own flaws, their own choices. So the only thing that we can do in life is come together and realize that we all make mistakes. We're all trying to get through this life the best that we can, learning the best that we can. And to trust that God works everything out for the highest good of those who love the Lord, those who love God, source, universe, creation, mother God. So that's all that I have for you today. Um, be love, be beautiful, love and Elise. Have a great day.